Hey guys, it's War. Welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be, of course, continuing our Minecraft Alpha Let's Play, or I guess just Minecraft Let's Play, because eventually we will be out of Alpha, and I think sooner rather than later. It's very exciting. But of course, today we are not updating. Today we are going to be continuing on with Alpha 1.2.0 because it's a really big update. It is an update that adds the nether and also adds biomes. As you can see, our entire area kind of turned to poopy grass instead of being, you know, lime green, bright, beautiful grass. Actually, kind of distractingly grass. Distractingly colored grass, I should say, but uh, I, what, I don't know what just died. Jeez. Uh, um, as I was saying, though, yeah, today we're going to be on an adventure. But I do want to apologize real quick for not uploading for a little bit uh, this series specifically. Uh, I was on, I was taking a little bit of a break because of the holidays, and uh, I hope sure you guys kind of understand that. And I hope everyone had a happy new year and happy holidays and everything like that. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and finish killing this creeper. Money says he's dead. Yeah, I just took some damage. I d totally killed him, right? Oh, I totally did. I'm so good. I'm just so talented. Uh, but as I was saying, yeah, we are back here again. And I actually did do some things off camera. I may not have uploaded, but I did do some things off camera. Some things that were a little bit bigger projects than I anticipated. So, first off, I finished off the temple over here. Nether hub area, whatever you want to call it. Um, for the most part, I finished it. I'll explain in a second. But... The, okay, cool, uh, the, you know, the front used to be the only thing done in the last episode, but I did the front side, the left, the back, and the right side, so it's all completely surrounded and finished up. However, to get all that cobble, I decided to dig out a little bit of an area in here, which I also reorganized a little bit, and I'll explain why in a second. Uh, in here, boom, I dug out this whole thing because a cactus farm has been implanted into this area. Yeah, this is actually super easy to do. I think I mentioned it uh, a little bit ago. In one of the episodes, but I just mentioned how cactus farms, to make an automatic cactus farm, excuse me, is super easy. I think you just saw it. Uh, as soon as the cactus grows, it hits the sign or something, and it just pops down and flows into the water. And I actually got really excited when I looked up, you know, how to make this thing, because uh, I was pretty sure I knew how, but there were some little tiny things I was a little confused about. And Etho was the video that got recommended. Uh, that just broke right there, unfortunately. But or got deleted by the cactus, but Etho, you know, one of my favorite YouTubers ever, a video from like 10 years ago got uh, recommended for me because of this. And I thought it was really funny, so uh, just a little fun little thing. But yeah, it actually did implement some implement some redstone in this design as well. So this light means it's ready for pickup. As you can see, these things are falling down here. This is just where I put the sugarcane. There's no such thing as an automatic sugarcane farm. I think maybe you could do it with signs or something as well. I actually have no clue if that's a thing, but sugarcane isn't too bad. Uh, but the cactus here, which also really isn't too bad either, just kind of did this for the stone. Um, I decided to make a tunnel that falls out from there. It flows all the way this way and boom, all the way to here. As you can see, one's falling down right there. I go ahead and pick it up and it's not that much. It really is not, you know, insane numbers or anything like that, but it's really consistent. Look, there's another one. Uh, but as you can see, they just kind of slowly, slowly fall. And when they hit this pressure plate, it turns on that redstone torch in there. Yeah, pretty straightforward, pretty cool. Uh, it's pretty hard to find a time when the redstone torch isn't on, though, because these things are always constantly falling. Um, so, yeah, it's not a big deal, but I think it's kind of funny. And of course, we do have the regular cactus farm here as well. But yeah, this is pretty much done. It's pretty cool. In my opinion, I think it's kind of cool we made something like that. Uh, just, you know, very casually, very freehand, whatever. Uh, but yeah, super, super neat. But today, we are not going to be working on stuff around the base. We are going to be working on stuff far away. Not really working on anything. We're adventuring. Today is definitely an adventure day because one of the few things left to do in Alpha 1.2.0 is we got to check out the new biomes, the tundra and the desert biome. And I kind of mentioned this a little bit ago, but that is why some of the grass looks stinkier than others uh, because this biome is probably like a desert biome technically. I don't know how it works, but we'll find a desert biome and it's going to look like a desert biome. And we'll find a tundra biome, which also has snow, which we have not been able to get snow until now and uh, be able to play with the snow. Oh, there's also one other item I want to get really badly. We'll find that. And then here, we have a bit of a situation. We can definitely... I brought a ton of random blocks over here. Really random blocks. I actually don't remember doing this. Uh, but yeah, I over here I decided to leave this hollow in the middle so we can build something. I'm thinking something of like a nether hub sort of deal. Something pretty easy, something pretty straightforward. I don't know. I, I don't know if I want to do that in today's video. I probably will later, but what I want to do right now is just adventure. I just want to adventure so bad. Uh, so that's probably is what we're going to end up doing. And of course the compass is going to be a big part of that. And uh, you know, using the nether portals as well. So 
And we're going to go ahead and do that. I probably should have brought more torches. Probably should have done a lot of things. Uh, but I think we're okay. Yeah, I grabbed these two stone shovels. No, I didn't. Two stone pickaxes. And uh, we're going to continue on. So the first thing I want to do, though, as soon as we get it in there, is actually put down a sign. Uh, and I got to get more wood there. I want to put down a sign so I can kind of keep a good general direction. I'm so stupid. Um, <laughs> I got to do this and then do this. Yeah, okay. Uh, the thing I want to do is put down some signs and get a good general direction of where we're going. So basically, the portal we go through, which is also the same thing as that portal, if you guys didn't watch the last episode, make sure to check it out, uh, basically takes us this way, which is east. No, it's west. Oh my god, already messing up. But yeah, the sun rises that way. So it's east, north, west, south. So this is to the east. So as soon as we go through, you'll see we're facing east, which is confusing because we're going in headed south, but we are going to be facing to the um, west. Yes. Oh gosh, it's confusing. Wait, where's my... Okay. Yeah, here, right? Yeah, this way is the way we need to go. And I'm going to put down a sign like here. Um, no, I'm not. I lied. I'm going to put down a sign like here, so it's very obvious. Um, okay, that looks bad, too. All right, I'm pet peeving over the smallest little things. Don't fall in the fire. Cool. Um, west. Oh, my God, I almost, start, I almost typed east. That's insane. West. Boom. Ugly sign completed. Yeah. All right, so we're going to just keep this bridge as is. This whole area... I'm waiting for this sign to get blown up. This whole area is a death trap, obviously, as you can tell. We're just gonna run by, and by run, I mean walk, because unfortunately, there's no running, which makes the nether area really sketchy. Hey, man. Um, no, I'm not even gonna bother with you. Okay, cool, fun, 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 fun. Just having a ball here. Uh, <laughs> sure, there you go. Cool. <laughs> Man, I love the nether. Don't you guys? Isn't it fun? Isn't it some surefire fun right here? I'm just having an absolute ball. Uh, but yeah, if you guys don't remember from the last episode, we did build out this way, and this takes us to an area we've already been. So we're actually going to continue heading west for now at least, and just dig out this way and see what we can find along our journeys. And yeah, of course, I'm just trying to generate some new terrain. So we find the tundra or the desert or both preferably both I want to find both of them uh, But the tundra and the desert biomes two new biomes. I want to check out and we're not going to be moving to them It's a it's pretty soon when we are going to move to a new biome a new area uh, But we got to wait for some a little bit more new generation and stuff before we do that which is Exciting and sad. I'm actually really excited to move but at the same time I, I have grown to really appreciate our our first base and house or whatever you want to call it uh, It's not really a house. I guess it's in a mountain with accessories or other little things around the house um, I don't know. I'm just kind of jabbing right now. I actually don't know how far I should go uh, Let's go until at least this break pick pick breaks Oh looks like we broke through or something to another area. Oh boy. A whole bunch more nether looking nether. I'm good. I'm glad you died. Um, hmm. More nether looking nether. And I'm scared to shoot the bow because I don't want to accidentally hit a pigman like this guy. Because if you hit a pigman, it is ruthless. And that is bad. So we're going to go ahead and play this smart somehow. Maybe I shouldn't go this way. This is a little too nuts. This is a little crazy, honestly. Maybe I'll go a different way. Ow. I really don't care if I get hit by the gas. I just don't want to touch the pigmen. Honestly, that's my only thing I'm worried about. Okay, so if that is to the west, this has got to be to the east. I'm actually not too sure if we're going to break out of this thing right away and also be stuck in a pickle. Uh, we're just going to block that off. That was nothing, really. Um, it actually was just like a staircase that went down to... I'll show you guys real quick because I'm a little bit nervous it's going to just pop out here, although I'm not entirely sure what direction I'm facing. Really? So, yeah, we're gonna move before that guy shoots me. But, yeah, let's go ahead and just continue on eastward and just uh, see what we can find. I'm gonna block this off, like I said. Why not? All right, another sign. I know it's a little redundant. If that way's west, this way's obviously east, but uh, why not? Let's go ahead and throw it down because I made some new stone picks as well. So, yeah. 
So if we're heading east right now, I'm really not sure what's out this way. Now that I think about it, I've never really generated this terrain, like at all. I basically have only gone west and that's it. So north and south are basically, shouldn't have to go nearly as far to generate new terrain. Um, so that's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and try one here pretty soon. Let's, let's break this pick and then throw down a portal and see what we end up with and see what direction we are from home. Should be, of course, east. If, if not, then I don't know. If not, then I just straight up don't know. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and put down a portal. I brought my obsidian and everything. No worries. No worries. Um, and should be good. Boom. Okay, portal is down. Let's go ahead and light this thing. And let's just see where we end up. It doesn't look like we went that far. Uh, but again, this is, you know, I think every five blocks is one in the nether or something like that. I don't know. I, I'm not entirely sure. Let's see where we end up. If we have to walk a little bit by foot, we got to walk a little bit by foot. It's nighttime. I kind of forgot that nighttime could be a factor. Uh, <laughs> where are my torches? Do I have any? Yeah, okay. Yeah, completely forgot about nighttime. Am I going to lie to you guys and say I was thinking about nighttime? No, because I completely forgot. But uh, this looks nice. I mean, it looks like a nice little forest area. Hey, look, there's a... Uh, is that tundra right over there? That looks like snow to me. That looks like snow to me. Yes, it definitely does. It has to be. Okay, cool. Let's check my compass real quick. So if we're looking this way and we see the moon is rising in the east... Um, and that's where we're going. Okay, so this way, back to spawn, that way, uh, which means that is north, west, south. Perfect. All right, so to generate new terrain, let's go this way. Obviously, the tundra's right there, and then to go back to our spawn, we can walk that way, which probably isn't even that bad of a, a walk, honestly. It probably isn't terrible, uh, considering we didn't go that far. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and maybe bunker down for the night. I really don't want to walk through the night, uh, but we might as well do a little bit of walking. We can handle one or two of these guys. We got 36 arrows, which means we can handle like three enemies because arrows don't do nearly as much as I think they should. But of course we can live. Wow, he's still not dead. My armor is doing bad. Okay, whatever. What, what do we got here? Cool. We're going to be lame. We are going to be lame, and we're going to wait through the night uh, just for a bit and uh, chill out in here. And then I'll come back to you guys once the day is upon us, when it, once it's day time. Yeah. Okay. My water bottle is refilled. The sun is up. We are ready to continue our journey. And yeah, it's not much of a journey we have to go on. I think I saw the snow like literally right over here. Yeah, just making sure I didn't get disoriented. Cool, there it is. Um, <laughs> nice, snow. Yes, technically snow was already in the game, but it was a little weird. So the way they did it instead of biomes was they had a winter mode. So whenever you started up the uh, a new world, it would randomly generate either a normal world or a winter world. In the winter world, it was just always snowing. So thankfully, we didn't get that because that would have been a nightmare. Uh, but now we can just get snow in a normal world and we can collect it with our diamond shovel which feels like you know a poop scooper getting snow or something i don't know okay that's a little disrespectful to pour snow but uh it's cool i mean oh again it is a 16 stack which kind of stinks uh but we can um we can go ahead and put it all together in a minute once i get a little bit more and we can make snow blocks what do we do with snow blocks that's a good question. I, I guess we could build with them. Uh, I think they're okay looking blocks, honestly. They're not, they're not great. Uh, they're not bad though. Let's, let's, can't shift click. Uh, let's just grab some. And uh, we're doing this in such a gross way. All right, there we go. Okay, let's see what they look like. <laughs> I, I don't know what I expected. Uh, yeah, this is them. It's cool, right? Like the, the it's cool. I don't know what we could build with this. We could build if, uh, something with them. Uh, I don't know. When I see them, though, I just think they're snow blocks. And unless we're building, like, an igloo, then I don't know what else to build with them. But, hey, we got them in the game. I, I might be able to be creative and think of something else. But, uh, yeah, for now, that's basically it. Um, and, of course, our inventory is already almost filled. But we still got a couple more things to find. The first one... It's not a dead cow because he's already passed away. The first one is a desert, and the other one is a new fruit. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Is it a fruit? Is a pumpkin a fruit? Yeah, we're basically trying to find some pumpkins. I don't know if pumpkins are fruits or not. I don't think so. They're vegetables, right? <laughs> right? I, I don't know. This is so embarrassing. I need to stop talking. I have no clue 
What are potatoes? I, I've wondered for so long. What are potatoes? Are they starch? They're not, they're not food or anything. Yeah, this is what happens when you take a little bit of a break from recording uh, YouTube videos. Your brain just forgets that people don't care about this stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and build a boat. Yeah, another boat adventure. We're always down for another boat adventure. Let's do it. We leave our crafting table because I'm cool like that. And I see some ice up here, which is also pretty cool. I don't think there is any way to get the ice, really. I think it's basically just, uh, it's here and it's here alone. Like you can't, you can't bring it anywhere else. Cause once you break the block, it'll fall into water and that's about it. I'm also keeping my eye out for the pumpkins or the jack-o'-lanterns or whatever. And I'm pretty sure this is just a dead end. Like the boat trip was a little unnecessary, uh, but it's there when we get back. But yeah, there we go. You break the ice, it goes into water. That's uh, pretty much it. But I think it looks cool. I definitely think it looks at least somewhat cool. Uh, so I'm glad we have ice in the game, I suppose. I mean, it's pretty nice, the ice. Okay, I'll stop. Uh, once again, I should just stop talking. But uh, it looks like we're coming out of a tundra snow biome. And of course, there's no... Um, what are they called? Pine trees? Are they called pine trees? Dark oak trees? Uh, I believe they're called pine trees, right? The dark oak. There's no other kind of wood still quite yet. It actually comes pretty soon. But for right now, all we got is oak wood, unfortunately. Uh, I mean, not really unfortunately. It looks nice. I, I like oak wood well enough. Uh, so, yeah, we're just going to pretty much continue in a straight line until I see something here. Hopefully, either a, a pumpkin or a desert biome. Place your bets of what we're going to find first. I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, I, would, I would guess pumpkin because I feel like that would just show up like into the area where we're arriving. It said it can just spawn like any biome. So it should be able to just pop up and appear. But uh, if not, then if not, it doesn't. So who knows? Yeah, I want to say that our biome back at home is absolutely not this color of green because this, this shade of green looks way nicer. Like this looks like a, a forest biome or something and not uh, what do we have? We probably have a desert biome because our, our shade of green is a little uglier. In my opinion, I'm actually going to grab that coal real quick because I want more torches. But yeah, this looks nicer than our thing back home, I think. Oh, we found some uh, red mushrooms. That's kind of neat, I think. But uh, not exactly a pumpkin quite yet. I'm keeping my eyes out, people. Trust me, I'm looking. And I don't want to go too far either. Uh, but you know what? Why not? Let's explore. Let's just, let's just go. Let's find some cool stuff. So we found a little bit more of a proper looking tundra here. It's a cool looking area. Look at these big trees right here. But yeah, this is more of a proper looking tundra tundra uh, than the other thing. This is this is very much so, you know, trees, snow, ice. It's got it all. And there's a pumpkin. Yes, I see one. I believe that's a pumpkin. If it's not, I'll be very confused. But yeah, found our first pumpkin. I really hope there's pumpkin seeds. So that's all we have to get is just one. Is there like no water under the ice? And this stuff doesn't make water when you break it? Oh, it does. Oh, okay, that's just weird. I don't know. I actually have no clue how that how those mechanics work right there. But, cool, we found ourselves a pumpkin. And again, I do hope there is pumpkin seed, uh, because that would make things nice for us. We could just find one and not have to worry about it again. But I don't think there is. I feel like I would have read about pumpkin seeds in my patch notes. So that's a little dis... Oh, we got three. We got three of them. And let's drop some uh, snowballs, I guess. I don't know. What do we got here? One pumpkin. Do they stack? They better stack. If they don't stack, I'm going to be very sad. Yeah, okay, cool. Pumpkins. Oh, no pumpkin seeds. No pumpkin seeds. But of course, I'm like 99% sure. Yeah, we got our jack... Okay, we got jack-o'-lanterns, but there's, uh, you know, no icon for it yet for some reason. So, do these stack again? No. Okay, weird. That's going to get confusing. Um, yeah, my inventory is just constantly full. Cool! Yeah, I love jack-o'-lanterns. Um, I'm going to be definitely using them uh, sometimes. I don't know when, but uh, yeah, I like them a lot. And unfortunately, again, these things don't stack. So that's going to make our, you know, collection of them... Or not, not stack, excuse me. They don't drop seeds. Uh, so that's going to make our, you know, gathering of them a little bit more difficult, unfortunately. Uh, so yeah, we found basically two out of three of our checklist. A tundra biome, a pumpkin... And not the third, which is a desert. So hopefully we'll find that pretty soon. I don't really want to keep just going in one direction. Maybe I'll loop back or something. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll just go for a little bit more and see what we find over this hill. Okay, I was really hoping I'd go over the hill and it'd be a giant desert. Uh, but it's not. This is just more tundra. Yeah, I don't know. I got a decision to make. Do I want to start heading back or do I want to continue this way? I'm not sure. I think I'm going to start heading back though. 
Ah, there you are. Okay, there were a couple times I thought I was lost, but I just kept walking forward and I said, if I'm lost, I'm lost, but if I'm not, I'm headed in the right way. So, boom, we found our nether portal. Now, I've been thinking a little bit of what I want to do when I get here, and I might do the unorthodox answer and it does not go into it. I might actually start heading back this way um, and just travel back home through foot, and hopefully along the way, I can run into a desert biome. Yeah, that's my thought process right now. And if at not, then at least I get to see like the line where like the new generation starts or something. Because I always think that's kind of cool. Uh, if it's like a really sharp line edge of a, um, what's it called? A, a chunk or whatever. Yeah, the edge of a chunk. I always think that's kind of cool to see. So I'm going to be weird and do that. But I also really want to get on top of this mountain because this mountain is cool and it's really tall. So maybe if I get up here, I might be able to see something that I wasn't able to see before, which sounds like the start of a Disney song or something. I don't know. This is a tall mountain. We're above the clouds right now. Yeah, this is cool. Uh, but unfortunately, I'm not getting a lot of... Look at that. This is like literally right at our house it feels like we did not go that far at all then huh yeah this is uh this is not maybe this isn't even new ter terrain then yeah this can't be new terrain if that's like our house yeah this is literally our house our yep there's the bridge okay this was not that far away this really was not that far away i thought we traveled a little bit further than this but hey we didn't so oh well uh but still looks cool it looks cool all right and this is a bit of a unique angle we're taking to walk up on our house area, uh, which is kind of cool. I think it looks kind of nice. So, that's cool. Alright, now we have some pumpkins to place along our house. There it is. <laughs> it's unfortunate. I really don't know what to do with these pumpkins, because uh, they don't, you know, break into seeds. So, they're kind of hard to use right now. I mean, we just have, what, three of them. If we want to use jack-o'-lanterns, we can, uh, which is probably kind of cool. You know, we should. We should do, um... Should we put them right here? Just jack-o'-lanterns right here? I mean, I do like the little mushroom things, but uh, jack-o'-lanterns are kind of cool if you ask me. Jack-o'-lanterns are pretty cool. I say we do it. I say we go for it. We're going to go ahead and put down the jack-o'-lanterns right in front of our house. Ah, wait. What if I just do this? New idea. Boom. Is that too much? That's a little too much. I don't know. I'll figure something out. I'll figure something out. I decided I don't like it there. We're going to leave that like that. And what I want to do is build something just so cool, so inspiring, so baffling how, how one man can be so creative and so so smart at the same time. We're going to make, of course, a scarecrow. Where should I put this sucker? Um, I want to put him on the farm, obviously, but uh, da, 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 where? <laughs> I don't know. There we go. There's our scarecrow. Yeah, I decided to just put him in the front here. And yeah, he's <laughs> he's not as cool looking as I thought he would be, but I kind of like him. He's 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 chilling. He's the he's the head of the farms now, all right, people. He's in charge. Uh, call him Mr. Scarecrow. Yeah, can't really come up with anything clever. But yeah, this guy's in charge of the farm. So if anyone wants to make it in there, you sheep, you want to go in the farm, you got to make it through Mr. Scarecrow first. All right, there you go. So, yeah, that is all we're going to be doing the, with the pumpkins for now. I guess we can just throw this one down somewhere. Obviously, I don't want to lose it because uh, I want to, I also don't want to use it to a jack-o'-lantern because I definitely want some more seeds or just some seeds in general. Uh, we're going to put them in a little bit better spot. Hold on. What if we just throw them down like right here? Yeah, I like that. Cool. All right, so we're going back to the future. Just kidding. We're going back to the nether room, and we're going to try to find a uh, desert biome take number two, I suppose. Ah, I was about to go, and I just realized we need more obsidian, which sucks. So, I gotta go mine some. There's some way down at the bottom here, which I've been going to. I'll go do that. All right, got my 20 pieces of obsidian. Hello, Mr. Scarecrow. Yes, I wish I, if someone has a funny name for this guy, let me know. That's going to be the, the comment of the day. Whoever can come up with the funniest name for Mr. Scarecrow there, there you go. You get a gold star, gold medal, uh, because I can't think of anything right now. But yeah, we're headed back along. We got 20 obsidian, which is enough for two more portals. Should be good. Should be good. Uh, what I'm going to try to do, I think, is I'm going to, um, what should I do? <laughs> I'm going to try two things. I have two ideas. One, I want to try heading north, which sounds impossible, as you'll see in a second with my nether. Uh, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's not impossible. We'll, we're going to try something here in a second. And also, I forgot to show this off. But yeah, we did finish all different sides of the... Okay, there's some ladders there as proof that we forgot to clean up. But 
we finished all the sides of the, the building, and I think it looks pretty nice. Uh, of course, there's a ton of monsters mad at me now because they all see me, uh, but I think it looks cool. I think it looks pretty cool. Of course, it was not my build. Technically, it was inspired super heavily by a different builder. Go ahead and check the description of the last video to check out who uh, or how I built this build as I just kind of looked at another picture of a different one. And I think it thought it looked good, so I built it in alpha. I'm getting shot at already. I was like, man, if it's safe, I'm gonna try something, and it's just straight up not. The nether is a nightmare, um, but uh, yeah, you know what I'm actually gonna try to do? I'm gonna try to do this. Jeez, these guys are relentless. There you go. I just wanna make it so it's somewhat safe here. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this is such a pain in the butt. Hi everyone, so good to see you all. Alright, this is a no-go. This is a no-go for me. You can't even do anything out here. This is relentless. You can't even step outside. Hey buddy. Like, what am I supposed to do here? What am I- yeah, you can't even do anything. Alright, cool. We're not gonna go that way. We're gonna go a different way. Okay, so I'm doing a little bit of recon, and what I think I want to do right now is actually head this way, which I believe is... Oh gosh, which way is this? So if this is, um, if that way is east, this way is west, this has got to be north. So yeah, I'm going to head north technically, basically in north, um, west from our spawn area. Yeah, it's getting a little confusing, but I, I was trying to think of how I can build a new portal out that way. It's literally impossible. There's just no way. It, I, there's no way I can pull it off. And uh, the, the guys just don't stop shooting. The, the, the gas just don't stop shooting. The landscape's a mess. They're screaming right now. It's a mess. It's it's honestly kind of baffling how uh, how ex insane it is. But we're gonna dig out this way. Uh, probably break like both our iron shovels. I probably should have brought. Do I have enough? Yeah, I'm gonna build a some stone shovels because I don't want to waste the iron too badly. All right, this seems decent enough. Let's go ahead and make our good old new nether portal. Yeah, let's check out where we end up. Crossing my fingers, crossing my toes for a desert biome, because that really is all we're looking for right now. Uh, but yeah, let's see where we end up through this one. I said that as I was should be lighting it. Okay, cool. Now we can time it up a little bit better. Uh, let's see what we get through this one. Oh boy. Please don't be bad. Please don't be bad. Oh! Oh, hello. Oh, why is my, uh, thing bad? There we go. Okay, cool. Uh, I got excited because- oh boy, look at this. Uh, I got excited because I saw sand right away, but this does not look like a desert. It looks cool, though. This is the- oh, is that a desert right there? Uh, yes, it has to be. That has to be a desert. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sight. Also, this is what I was talking about earlier, where it kind of looks like the, uh, the chunks are being cut off. I like how that looks in a really, really weird way. I kind of like that. So we're going to check that out here in a second. I also want to see what direction I am. So yeah, this is, of course, like I said, northwest from our spawn because it's at an angle here, which is kind of cool, which means that the sun is directly above us um, and it's setting in the west. West, east, spawn. Perfect, and we're in the north. Cool, everything works out perfectly. And I, I suppose like this is old generation then, and that means this is new generation, like in this area-ish. Yeah, something like that, something like that. We'll, we'll go with that. We're gonna do this here and throw it on a chest as well. Uh, just to put this netherrack in. So much netherrack. I accidentally brought some with me, which I did not mean to at all. Trust me. Um, so we're going to throw this crap away and uh, check out the the desert biome. I, I think it's probably going to look pretty cool, honestly. I don't want to get your guys' expectations up, but uh, I think it actually does look kind of cool. Uh, what else was I going to do? I don't remember. Oh, a boat. Yeah, let's build a boat and we can get over there. It should be cool. Uh, yeah. All right, let's sail straight over there. Actually, I also do want to check out that as well. The uh, the chunks or whatever. I guess it's all along here is the chunks and this is new generation or whatever. Oh, yeah, but this is this has got to be the nether. Uh, or not, excuse me. Thank goodness it's not the nether. This has got to be a desert biome right here. You can see with the cactuses, which, of course, we don't need cactuses anymore. We got way too many cactuses. We have way too many of a block that does nothing right now. Uh, but, yeah, cactuses are here they're all over the place and again they don't really have much of a use they are simply for i also do want to check something in a second here they are simply for green dye but guess what there's no green dye yet 
yeah, uh, this is this is no green dye quite yet, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, so the cactus is just kind of there. But as soon as green dye comes into the game, man, we're gonna have a lot of it, people. We're gonna have a lot of green dye. And okay, I thought this this bridge or this the ridge would reveal something cooler, but ah, it's kind of a small desert. Never mind. All right, well, it looked cool for a second. Uh, I thought it, it still does look kind of cool. This is definitely a desert biome, but it's not as sprawling and epic as it could have been. I did see some like development pictures or whatever when I was looking for this update, and there were some desert biomes that are really cool and sprawling. Uh, and I'm not really going to try to hunt for them, but I thought that's what we were going to find. But nonetheless, this is still pretty cool, um, except for that. What the heck was that? I definitely got to be careful game crashes and stuff because new terrain I guess can do stuff like that so that was kind of sketchy I'm gonna restart my game and make sure everything's okay game restarted we seem fine I mean that was just kind of weird kind of sketch me out but uh, we seem okay we seem all right uh, but yeah kind of cool I mean again I kind of wish it was the sprawling one but beggars can't be choosers beggars can absolutely not be choosers so we're gonna look over here real quick see if we get the slide I wanted to see uh, but it is cool I think there's of course no desert temples there's no desert villages nothing like that quite yet but this looks like a promising kind of start to a new area so I'll definitely try to continue like adventuring out this way or something at least um, because I, I do like this area a little bit um, just because it's kind of you know flat and ready to be explored also yeah yeah, this is totally the color of the grass we have back at home. So I think we at home are in a desert biome, which is unfortunate. Uh, I gotta admit, that is a little sad, but uh, I, I guess it's not too bad. Um, I mean, it, it's the worst out of the three options, tundra, desert. Actually, no, tundra would be worse, I think. Oh, but look, there's some more desert over here. Um, it is nighttime, which means the desert gets very cold. I guess there's no temperature in the game, but that's real life. If you're in the desert at night, bundle up, I guess. And if you're in the desert during the day, bundle up because you're going to get your skin burned. Yes, I'm talking nonsense. Look at that. There's a mushroom in a tree. That's kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it for the, uh, the update here. We just wanted to check this stuff out. Some more pumpkins would be nice. Yeah, game. Pumpkins? Pumpkins? You guys remember those? I guess those pumpkins are a lot more rare than I thought they would be, because those pumpkins have been hard to find. I've only found those those three at first, and that's basically it. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool little stuff. I'm really glad they're adding biomes now, or we've gotten to the point where biomes are in the game. Of course, I still would stand by. You should probably live inside a forest biome and nothing else, because these other ones are kind of... suck. <laughs> <laughs> kind of harsh. The tundra is just kind of a pain in the butt because over time it's like covered in snow. Actually, I don't think there's rain quite yet. I didn't even think of that. There's no rain or snow uh, quite yet, but there you go. Uh, we got a way to the tundra. We got a way to the desert, which is neat, I think. Um, yeah, I just keep saying this is cool, but I do admit it. I, I still, I honestly do think this is cool. So, I think that is going to... No, it's not. I definitely want to work on the nether room. Yeah, baited you guys. It's not the end of the episode quite yet. I do want to work on the nether room a little bit before I end off the episode, but I'm glad we found our, our goals of the episode. The desert, the tundra, and the pumpkin. Yeah, pretty cool stuff if you ask me. Yeah, so check it out. It kind of stopped right here, and this is where the new terrain uh, started, you know, getting introduced so yeah i don't know i think it's kind of cool the the sharp you know flat edges that kind of peel into the side of the earth it's just me that thinks this is cool i know it maybe you guys do too as well i don't know maybe someone out there does as well but uh, i think it's interesting i think it's kind of cool to kind of show how terrain generation works and especially before it got smoother like it does in my modern minecraft you can just kind of see the uh straight walls and straight chunks everything like that which i think is kind of cool so yeah <laughs> Oh, my sign just got blown up. It was doing so good, but it just got blown up. Darn, I'm, I'll make a new one, like, right now. Unfortunately, if we're working on the nether room, that means we're probably gonna have to fill out at least the top of it to look like a real portal. Yes, it's sad, it's sad. But yeah, we are going to be... Also, does this give me water? No, it does not. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be working in here for a bit. That one does, for some reason. Uh, I don't know why they're different, but, uh, yeah, we're gonna be working here for a bit and see what we can come up with as a design for the nether room. I really got no ideas what I should do here. Are you gonna be able to come in? Yeah, you are. That's gonna suck. But, 
we're gonna we're just gonna freestyle here and see what we come up with okay so what do we think um i think that we are pretty much done in here yeah this actually took a little bit longer than i expected basically what happened is i finished it and then my game crashed and what crashed was based i'd actually finished it i got like halfway done but i got like halfway done my game crashed uh, and it kind of kicked me back to where i came out of the nether portal like it kind of just it was weird, like save the progress, but kind of didn't, not really. Uh, so we have the stuff we got this episode, as you can see, we had the pumpkin, but my progress inside of here was just deleted, which was just kind of a, a weird minor setback. I just went ahead and just piled through and did it, and now it is the next day when I'm a little bit more awake to record. But I think we are going to be wrapping up the video now. I decided to do like a... A interesting design? I don't know. What do you guys think about the redstone? Is the redstone a bit much? Like the blood thing? I, I think it could be a bit much, but I don't know. I think the whole design and everything works all right. Um, I kind of have like a spiral way up with like the, the nether rack transforming into the cobble. That's what I was going for. I think it works all right, uh, but I'd love to get some opinions on just this whole room. It's very straightforward. It's nothing that interesting. Actually, I don't even know why I have gold in there. It's basically because of the, I was thinking you need to trade with the, the piglins or whatever, but that is so very much so not true and it won't be for a very, very long time. So there you go. That is going to be pretty much it for the end of the episode. I think it was a pretty fun one. Definitely another little exploratory episode. Um, and that pumpkin is there. Don't worry, is not Mr. Scarecrow. Please, again, give me a name suggestion for Mr. Scarecrow. But um, yeah, that's not Mr. Scarecrow. That is one of the extra ones we had. And now we have one extra one we got to keep for pumpkin seeds. We cannot use that pumpkin or we cannot use it in a jack-o'-lantern. We need to get pumpkin seeds as soon as they come out so we can get a renewable resource in those pumpkins. But until then, I think we're going to wrap up this episode and uh, see if we have anything at the cactus area. Of course we do. We always do. We always do. Um, just four. It looks like a lot more than four. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Do we have any coming? No. Okay, let's hurry. If we go really quickly, again, no sprint, nothing like that. We're just going to walk and jump a little bit um, to see if we can catch it before, you know, the light turns back on or whatever. So there's nothing on the pressure plate right now, which means the light is off. It's not ready for pickup. Cool. My redstone does work. And there's a sheep on the roof. Sure, why not? All right, well, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. I really, really appreciate you guys watching. I have so much fun with this series. We'll probably be updating in the next episode, so make sure to like and subscribe. And stay tuned for that. I can't wait. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. And uh, I wanted to do this earlier because I forgot. Bye-bye.